Pedophilia, in my own words, is sexual feelings or desires towards a child or someone who is under the age of 18. My opinion of people with pedophilia before learning in depth about it is it's a very disgusted feeling that I have about this topic. Um, I don't think it's okay for these people to do like these actions to these harmless children, them not knowing like what even like the grasp of what they're doing, like they don't have a say, anything. So I don't think that it's okay for these people to, you know, get away with these type of actions. Um, to go back into the segment of the radio seg segments that you gave to us, um, I think that the therapist reacted very professionally. Um, I think it's right that the mom was incorporated with the therapy sessions um, because, you know, as a mom, like, you need to be aware of what your kids are doing, um, even though, you know, he was older. Um, people with pedophilia might not want to seek treatment because they might think it's not okay to be doing those things, and they need to know that those things are not okay, um, that they're doing these types of actions to these children. So with getting caught in the action and they know that they're doing wrong. Um, pedophilia and how it develops and what some of the treatment approaches. From what I learned, pedophilia might develop by a child being touched inappropriately by an adult during their childhood or some sort of domestic or sexual violence occurred at a young age. Pedophilia can also develop from behaviors of their families. Some psycholo psychological treatments would be therapy procedures, one being cognitive covert sensational, sensation, sensational. This is where um, the patients associate sexual arousing images in their own imaginations with someone or some reason of why the behavior is harmful and dangerous. This therapy is also to reduce the unwanted behaviors. Before this treatment, the patient is educated about why these actions are bad and they are provided with enough reinforcement to overcome any thoughts or actions that might be harmful. Another therapy is um, orgasmic reconditioning. This is the learning procedure to help clients with, straighten, with straightening appropriate patterns of sexual arousal by pairing appropriate stimuli with the pleasurable sensations of masturbation. The drug treatments could be an anto, the anti androgen or a Depavero shot. Um, after learning about pedophilia in depth, in one, in my own words, the definition of it. Um, so, for me, I'd say pedophilia or paraphella disorder is the most tragic sexual deviance, sexual attraction from a child or a young adolescent, generally aged from 13 years or younger. They are attracted to young male or female or even both. What I found most surprising about this topic is it was well publicized, like a scandal, like that's how it started um, in the Catholic churches where the priests met the disorder and um, they would abuse the children. And they would continue to move, like, from church to church, which I found was really interesting. And also that in 2006, uh, the adults viewing child pornography is now a crime, where back in the old days it wasn't even a crime. Um, so I found that to be interesting. Um, question seven. Uh, after learning in depth about pedophilia, in my own opinion, um, my opinion really hasn't changed. I think that pedophilia is a disorder and it should be treated professionally by treatment, um, either cognitively or just, you know, therapy sessions of trying to get them better and, you know, not doing those actions. They're not right. Um, if pedophilia occurs over more than a few times, then it should be criminalized, in my opinion. I mean, if they do it consecutively and consecutively and consecutively and it's not being treated, then obviously, like, it should be criminalized because of the fact that, you know, nothing's getting done. I don't think all pedophiles are criminals. 
some just may not be there all right in the head. Um, some just, you know, mental health patients, you know, they're not all there. So um, I think with the right treatment that and knowing like what's wrong, um, they can, you know, move on from that and hopefully become better in life. And lastly, is the disorder you think would be interesting in working with? Um, yes, I would be interested in working with this disorder as a backup plan, but it's not as my first choice as I plan to work with post-traumatic stress disorder, veterans and soldiers, hopefully becoming a military psychologist uh, for a backup plan, possibly in corrections and possibly like, you know, working with these type of people. But um, as of right now, it's not one of my first top plans, but um, I do think that this is very interesting. Um, it's not one of my first interests, but I mean, never know. Life is life.